hi guys welcome to my channel so i have another little haul for you guys i kind of had a spur of the moment trip to dallas texas and our on our way back home we stopped at a few stores so i'm going to show you guys what i got um let me start with the stores that are like non-clothing item first because that way i could do like a try on haul um for you guys so let's start with the let's do just target first Yes, we stopped at Target, even though we have a Target here where I live, but I was looking for this, this, and I had been to like two or three Targets where I live and I could not find um, the hard copy of The Butcher and the Wren, and this is written by Elena Urquhart, I think is how you say her last name. She's actually a host of this podcast that I really like to listen to. I actually listen to it every single night. It helps me fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> even though it's like a true crime um, kind of ghost, you know, anything creepy they cover, you know, they do, do serial killers, they do uh, missing people, you know, it's creepy roads, anything. They are amazing. So the podcast name is actually Morbid. Morbid, you know, the podcast is just called Morbid. Um, and her, Elena and Ash actually host the podcast and Elena came out with a book. So I figured it would be really, really, really good because Elena is just awesome. I doubt they will ever see this YouTube video, but Elena, Ash, if you guys are listening, I love you guys. I love your podcast. So, and I'm sure I'm going to love this book. So I'm glad I finally got it. So that's the first thing that I got. Um, like I said, at Target and then we stopped at FYE. I don't know if anybody remembers this store. There's not very many around anymore. Um, but we actually went to Great Mill, I think Great, no, Grapevine, Grape, something, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the screen. I can't remember the name of an out, the outlet mall that we went to, but I think it is Grapevine Mills Outlet Mall is the one that we went to. And they had an FYE there and they also had a Ross there. So that's why I stopped at Ross. Um, but anyways, at FYE, they sell like a bunch of like collectibles, like, you know, for movies and stuff like that, or like comic books, you know, like a lot of Pokemon and that kind of stuff. Well, anyways, I had seen this doll on eBay, um, just like maybe two weeks ago before we just decided to go to Dallas the other day. And I was like, oh, and I knew it was an FYE exclusive little doll. Um, so I'm like, I highly doubt that they're going to still have them because they came out in like 2015 when this, when this movie came out. So, um, I was like, you know what, let's just go into FYE and see if I can find it because it's an FYE exclusive doll, yada, yada, yada. So anyways, um, we get to the outlet mall, I'm like, let's go there. And as soon as I walk through the door, I find it. <laughs> you guys might think I'm crazy, but, um, I bought this cute little Krampus on the mantle, kind of like an off like a spinoff from like elf elf on the shelf it's krampus on the mantle um and krampus is actually a movie that came out in 2015 it's like a horror movie christmas thing um i don't know how to describe it but it's actually really good if you guys haven't ever seen the movie it's pretty good um but krampus himself is actually you know like a real myth you know kind of you know that's been around for centuries i believe he originated in germany if i'm not mistaken because he is the bad guy versus you know like um saint nicholas so you know saint nicholas is kind of where santa claus is based off of so anyways um yeah i got this cute little doll he was kind of expensive 40 dollars, but anyways i thought it was so cool he comes in a little magnetic box hold on oh my god you guys will think I'm crazy because I think he's so cute. Um, that's the actual like movie cover, but this is the actual little doll and he comes with a little mean teddy bear and a little mean little gingerbread man if you guys can see it because it's kind of hard to see with the glare. But anyways, yeah, you just put him on your mantle like Elf on the Show. <laughs> so yeah, Krampus. That's, I was so surprised to find this, but I was so happy to get one. So anyways, I also got that from FYE. That's the only thing that I got from FYE. And that book was the only thing that I got from Target. Last but not least, Ross. They had a Ross, like I said, inside the outlet mall. The outlet mall was really cool. They had not only outlet stores like American Eagle, uh, Abercrombie and Fitch, a lot of like different outlet mall uh, stores 
like um, also Neiman Marcus Last Call, Saxol Fifth, they had a bunch of stuff. And I'm actually gonna insert a couple little clips that I got from the outlet mall so you guys can see. And we also went to the Stranger Things pop-up store inside the outlet mall as well too. So you guys will get to see that as well. I thought it was really cool. It was just, you know, Stranger Things themed and then sold a bunch of like Stranger Things um, like merch and stuff like that. I didn't buy anything from there, but we just went inside. So we, you know, got to see and experience the store. It was really cool. Oh, baby. But yeah, of all things, I'm in the outlet mall and I go to Ross because I love Ross. <laughs> so anyways, um, I just got a few things from Ross. Um, there's only like, I think three things. So I might show you guys everything real quick and then I will try it on at the end. So first I got another Playboy t-shirt because well, I don't know, I have a thing for Playboy merch. So it's just this over again, oversized black t-shirt. I got it in a size um pretty sure yeah i got an extra large because i just like my shirts really over overpriced no i don't like them overpriced <laughs> i got oversized it was 10.99 a little 11 bucks and then on the back it kind of has this whole little checkered um little design so i thought that was really cool so i got that what else did i get oh yeah i love finding free people at ross this cute little tube top. This one, believe it or not, guys, it was $5.99. And it has the original price of $68. Can y'all believe that? So I pick picked that up because, like I said, love finding free people at Ross. And then I figured I might wear this, like, not only as a cardigan, but also as, like, a dress. It's this really long black cardigan from Carl Lagerfield. Of course, you can see the big old Carl Lagerfield down both of the sleeves and this one actually got this because it was on clearance it was only 10 bucks down from nine no 999 that is 999 <laughs> 29.99 so i picked that up because i figured like i said i think it would be a really cute dress the size medium and then i got some pajamas they're not i guess your traditional pajamas because this is what i like to sleep in especially during the summer super cute just this cute little like baby doll with the matching like little short little you know shorts <laughs> this one was only $7.99 um I love buying little sets like this for myself I like to have you know matching sets just for for me so it doesn't matter doesn't matter who who sees them or if nobody sees them don't care this is what I like to wear and I like to feel cute so I like my little matching little sets so this is what I what I wear to sleep in at night um I probably won't be trying this on maybe on my own only fans i'm kidding i don't have an only fans but anyways um so yeah i just wanted to show you guys but you, you won't be seeing that one sorry but anyways let's get to trying on some stuff okay getting into the ross hall portion of this video let me get you guys a little bit further down so you can see the whole thing um so here is the first one the playboy um bunny t-shirt like i said this one has a whole lot of design in the back and it just has this cute little playboy bunny um in the front and like i said super oversized i kind of like getting them oversized because i like to make sure that this seam hits me below the shoulder to make sure that i don't look super broad but super cute would love to wear it during the summer with just some shorts underneath or something so yeah first thing and this was what like 10.99 i think yeah 10.99 so not a bad price at all um let's do the free people next and hope to god it fits it is a medium but let's find out okay here is this one it kind of fits it kind of doesn't <laughs> um i feel like it's a little bit too tight but not too bad honestly as long as i don't put it like in the dryer i think it should stay okay 
super cute though. I mean, not bad. I didn't take off my bra. I just kind of tucked it in because <laughs> I didn't feel like it. But anyways, I mean, not bad for the price compared to $68.00. Super cute, again, something perfect for the summer. Why am I buying summer clothes right now? I don't know, we're in the middle of winter, but I mean, I like I said, I love finding the Playboy merch and freak people at Ross, so I mean, we were in a whole different state, why not? So anyways, one last thing. Actually, I might throw it over this top. Like I said, this is the Carl Lagerfeld sweater that I feel like would be, actually no, because I gotta unbutton it. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Last but not least, here is the kind of really long cardigan. Would that be cute as a dress? I feel like it's too big. Might have to like put a belt on it or if not, if all else fails, I can always just give it to my mom. I didn't leave the shirt underneath, I just took off the, the shirt. Hmm, I don't know if I like this. I feel like it's too big. It's okay though. I mean, it's just kind of a plain black cardigan. I could actually use it as a cardigan. I don't know if this is too loud. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. I'll think about this one. What do you guys think? Do you like the sweater or not? But anyways, that is all I bought in Dallas, Texas. Like I said, most of this, actually no. Yeah, most of this came from the outlet mall, except for the book. That of course came from Target. But everything else, it came from the mall, which was, like I said, it was a really cool outlet mall. It actually looked like a more traditional mall. It was an indoor mall, which I could appreciate that because sometimes it gets a little bit cold walking out, walking around outside. And actually, a tornado had hit that outlet mall the day before we got there. Um, and there was a little bit of damage um, to the mall. But they surprisingly, most of the stores were still open. Um there was just a few places where they had kind of closed it off um, and a few stores that we wanted to go to that were closed because of the tornado but i mean that was still impressive that they were open even though a tornado had hit the st the whole the outlet mall the previous day um it just didn't cause like a bunch of damage to the outlet mall thank god and nobody was hurt i'm pretty sure it was even during the daytime or like close to closing when the when the tornado hit but as far as i know nobody was hurt and i'm glad um, that nobody was hurt and also, um, I'm feeling a lot better. If you guys had seen my uh, my video from last week, it was like, I'll decorate with me for Christmas. I am feeling so much better. Um, I think it was just like, like I said, a flu or something. I'm not sure. I know the flu and a stomach bug are going around, so you guys be careful out there. Um, I don't want anybody getting sick. Wash your hands, don't touch your face, you know, stay, stay healthy. Um, but anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Give me leave me, leave a comment down below. Um, I try my best to read all the comments that you guys leave. Um, and subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.